Tiffany. Um, hello everyone. I hope everyone's day was uh, good. I hope everyone can hear me fine, especially with the music and stuff. And I hope the music is uh, good as well. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Today we are playing um, a taste, a taste of the past. Wait, <laughs> is it a taste of the past or from the past? It's a taste of the past, right? Yeah. So the taste, um, the name is called a taste of the past, and it's just a game that I found when I was um, just looking around Steam, um, and. The second I looked at it, I was like, oh my god, that art style is really cute. And I was looking at the description, I was looking at the comments, and, um, well, I don't really, honestly, I don't really, uh, look at the comments that much, but I was looking at the description and, like, the trailer video for the game, and it, oh, that was my whole ass hip that just popped out of my body. I don't know if you heard that, but I'm really excited to play it. Uh, the loading, not the loading screen, but the home screen looks really cute. And the game's supposed to be about grief and food, and I love food, and specifically it's Chinese food, uh, which I don't know if a lot of people know, but I am Chinese. So I just thought that this was kind of perfect, um, if not the best the best game for me to play. Um, it is about loss and grief, grief um, of a very close family member. I'm pretty sure it's the main character's mother. But I think it would be really, I, I think it would be a really interesting experience and something, I guess, fun, hopefully. Um, I might cry, just because um, there's a lot of, uh, like, a lot of my past is connected with food and family. And so, you know, relatability makes you cry. I mean, I did see from the comments, a lot of people were like, if you're not um, Asian or Chinese, or if you haven't lost a family member, you probably wouldn't be able to enjoy this game as much as someone who has. Um, so yeah. So if, so yeah, I don't know. That's what I saw in the reviews. Um, but I think it would be a fun game nevertheless. Hi sweet, welcome. I don't know if you were hearing me talk about the game, but I think I'm gonna go into it now. But yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna start now. Oh, it's black because it does that sometimes. I think you guys can see it soon. Alright, there it is. Ta-da! It's- Okay, let me know if the music is too loud. It's a, it's a little loud for me, actually. Right? The art is so cute. I, yeah, the second I saw the art, I was like, I have to play this. It looks- I mean, look at the food! I love food art so much. The music's a little loud. But yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let me change it. Um, but yeah, I- Is it better now? Like, this all looks really, like, simple. I really like simple food art, and I really like, like, really complicated and realistic food art. I think it all looks really good. Um, so yeah. Okay, maybe I can lower the music in here as well. Because it is still kind of loud. Alright. And I want subtitles on. Okay. Alright. Oh, it's so cute, the dumplings and the fish, the steamed fish. I haven't had steamed fish in so long. And then the bowls of rice. Oh, that's so cute. This is also, um, might be an unpopular opinion, but I think this is the best spoon and the only spoon that should exist. Porcelain spoons. I think they're the best. I Because they're big, so you can have like a big, like, helping. And then, um, like... They're porcelain, so they won't- or like, they're made out of, uh... Yeah, they're porcelain, so they won't burn you when you try to drink soup or something hot. Because metal spoons will burn you. Porcelains won't hurt as much. So I think they are superior. I- I eat- this morning I ate my cereal with a porcelain spoon, and it was a great experience. I always eat my cereal with 
forks and spoons if I have them around, usually at my parents' house. I always use those when I eat pho. I mean, yeah, uh, but the... If you eat pho at a... It depends on the restaurant, because a lot of times pho restaurants would either have the porcelain spoons or they'll have plastic ones, because, again, it's better because you don't burn your mouth. I don't know, I have a strong opinion about metal spoons, I don't like them. Fuck. But I had to excuse me for a second. I just spilled root beer right next to my face. <laughs> um. Um. Please don't break. I will cry. I will cry. My day already wasn't amazing because very bad news happened this morning. Uh, I'm pretty sure people know about it. I'm very- I'm sad, but I knew it was coming. I'm using so much tissue, my mom's gonna kill me. Please. Oh my god, this is so sad. I'm not that clumsy. Well, maybe I am. I feel like I have to move her now. Ugh. Please don't break. If you break, it, let me break. You were surprised? I I could tell it was happening. Uh, just by the way he was acting. And uh, by the way, like... It, he... Okay, people were saying that it was sudden. I don't think it was really sudden at all. Uh, just because of his inactivity on YouTube and, and stuff. And like the- he- he just- the spirit was different. It- like the vibe was different. Not off, just mm, different. Like, it felt like he was kind of bored with like how repetitive everything was or something. Or he wanted to pursue something else. I don't- I didn't finish watching the whole stream of what he said about it. But that's what I guessed. It might not be true. I'm just like, you know, saying stuff, but I mean, it's a valid reasoning because he's been doing it for like two years, two and a half years, and he's still really young, so it's like he wants to try other things, right? It's understandable, and he'll probably come back, not Mista, but the guy behind Mista, he'll probably just come back in a different form. But it's okay. Cause it's like, as long as you support his decisions, you're still showing support towards him and stuff. Am I still moving? Okay, yes I am. I thought I just froze. <laughs> yeah. Poor Mista. Not poor Mista. Happy for Mista. Poor everyone else. Poor literally everyone else. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I, I cleaned up my day. <laughs> that was so scary. For people who just got in, I spilled a uh, root beer all over my desk. Poor mistakes, exactly. It was, um, is yeah. This is, he's punishing all the mistakes. We re, re remember the game in one sitting. Around 30 minutes? Honestly, that's pretty short. I might play Minecraft. Or, we'll see, because there's puzzles in here. It might take me actually five hours. I do want to play it in one sitting though. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's so pretty! E. Oh, this is so cute! Ingredient. Oh, I didn't- I clicked it on accident. Wait, no, I want to see. Even the ingredients list is instinct indistinguishable. I'm pretty sure you can make out some things. Pages are weathered and torn. Proof of generations of recipes passed down. Mom used to oh, Mom used to prop the recipe book on the kitchen counter as she made me scallion pancakes before class. Hot pot for special occasions. Girl I ate hot pot before class? I would need to sit down at a huge ass table 
for like a three hour meal if I was gonna eat hot pot. I wouldn't be able to do that before class. But the scallion pancakes, I have, I've, my, I think my mom made those recently and she burnt them. <laughs> but they were so good. They were so yummy. Long noodles for my birthday. Yes, that's tradition. My first birthday without her. Mom. I begged for the recipe growing up, but she always reassured me that it was mom's secret. We used to make dumplings together every Sunday afternoon, dipping our fingers into water to connect the peel. The fresh smell of chives as the gyoza hit the hot oil. I can't remember the last time we cooked together. She eventually only put thought into her cooking for work potlucks. Cooking for people who've never heard of chili black bean sauce. Dad never understood our love for yo yo how we <sighs> Oh Wake up at five AM kids, it's hot pot time. Real me me when me with kids. Me when I have kids. But this is so this is already making me really sad. <laughs> oh god. Dad never understood our love for yo tiao. How we'd meticulously dip the dough into kongi. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> Sounds so good. Bro, this game's gonna make me so hungry. This game's gonna make me so sad. I remember... Okay, this is... Okay, she's probably talking about how her mom and her would do stuff when she was younger. Um, and like, not even now. Since her mom did... She mentioned that her mom does different stuff for her work. But like... Um, man, this reminds me of my, just this line, I mean, the whole thing reminds me of my childhood. Sad and hungry is the worst combination. I make garlic bread, so I, I ate a bunch of that, so I'm, I'm okay. Um, yo tiao is fried, is literally fried dough. So, um, and it's very much a breakfast food. And then you have yo tiao, and then you have kangi, which is like rice porridge. And it's... Th that is a very popular combination, a very traditional combination, and I used to eat those every morning when I was little, to the point where I got sick of them. I actually don't like yo tiao that much, but I used to really like them when I was little, but because I ate them all the time, um, it got to a point where it was too oily for me, because it's literally deep fried dough, uh, and oh my god, I'm just remembering, I'm just remembering, um... I knew her less and less, hearing about her day through eavesdropping on phone calls. Okay. Of course you're not there when I need you the most. She's talking about her dad or her mom. I think I missed some part of the... The... the thing. Oh! She slept and then she woke up. Oh, so cute! E. I can't believe I fell asleep. I bet I missed my stop. Where is everyone? Let's go backwards. Oh. Nothing here. Let's go the other way. Her mom, probably. Yeah, that's what I was speculating, like, that she probably did a lot of stuff with her mom, and then her mom got really busy, and, like, kind of, you know, didn't do as much with her. And of course, like, her kid also grew older, so they were all probably really busy. <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> Honey, last time I saw you, you were just a couple of feet tall. I thought it'd be years before we met again. What's going on? I thought you were dead. <laughs> Why is she saying... Er, <laughs> <laughs> Grandma? Oh, May. Okay, her name's May. We love generic Chinese names. <laughs> no, May is, May, May is, May is a good, it means beauty in Chinese, basically beautiful. Oh, May, I'm sorry your mom left you too soon. You know about that? What is this place? I found her here, May. Even though it's been so long since your great-grandma died, I still remember it clearly. So that's her mom. So it's the grandma's mom. I saw her everywhere. I kept reliving all of these memories I had once forgotten. I understand how you must feel. Wait, mom's here? Where can I find her? There's so much I need to tell her. You'll see her when you're ready. 
Um, can I... Is this like... Okay, if this is a one choice thing... Okay, which one's more important? Um... I think... I would think the mom one's more important. Why can't I see her now? Where is she? Your mom misses... Oh my god. Your mom misses you. Have you been eating? You look thinner than I remember you. Ugh. Normal grandma tings. Why does any of that matter? She's gone and I'm talking to my dead grandma. <laughs> Girl is so over it. Oh, most Asian, most Asian comment ever. I know, right? I have something I must tell you before you go. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Do you remember the first time you swam? When I was six? I used to take you to the swimming pool every Friday after elementary school. You complain every time that your mom wasn't there. Oh my god, I'm about to cry. <laughs> But she was cooking dinner for us. When you made it to the deep end for the first time, your mom made you mapo dofu, your favorite at the time. She loves you. You haven't been here for the past few years. She wasn't there then, and she's not here now. Oh. Someone's a little... Someone's a little... Got some... Uh, some family issues. She's been there all of your life, even if you don't see it now. You know it's my birthday, right? Where is she for that? Girl, your mom- You can't blame her! Ugh. It's hard. I know you must feel hurt, but she sacrificed so much to make sure you were cared for. Moving to America, giving up her dreams. I know you must feel hurt, but she sacrificed so much to make sure you were cared for. Moving to America, giving up her dreams. That's a very... Very... That's very Asian. <laughs> Moving to America, giving up her dreams. I wouldn't. S I don't know. I. I. You know, I'm not the mom, but a lot of Asian people move to America to fulfill their their dreams, as well as like, yeah, as well as like um, helping their kids grow and be more successful. Because a lot of times. Well, I don't know. I'm not the mom. Every person is different. Shouldn't the kid be part of the dream? Right. That's what I was thinking. A lot of times, especially in Asian families, um, it's like the kid becomes the dream, which is unhealthy, but it's it's popular. That's like that's the general belief, and usually it's like like parents wanting the best for their kids, and that's what they want. That's their hope and stuff like that. But again, like a parent shouldn't always sacrifice everything for their kid. I mean, I'm pretty sure the mom being able to go to America, like, having the means to, is already a very, like, impressive feat in uh, in itself. So, I don't know. I don't- I don't think I agree with that, Grandma! If you want to take one thing from her, it's- what? <laughs> Wait a second. If you want to take one thing from her, it's to love, even when no one's watching. Grandma, I don't know, but how am I supposed to know she loves me if I don't see it? Oh, real. It's it's everywhere around you. Her waking up early to take you to school, working extra shifts to pay for your art classes. Oh! <laughs> um, why is this game attacking me? What the fuck? They really said, oh, so you're an art student. Oh, so you're gonna do the most expensive but like least the most expensive career with the least payback <laughs> the grandpa being silent this whole time i'm giggling that's so that's such a grandpa move i'm not gonna lie i'm waiting for him to talk so i can like you know speak in my grandpa voice but like he's not saying anything i've been waiting here this whole time <laughs> It's everywhere around you. Her waking up- Oh, I already said this. She never passed down any of her recipes, though. Yeah, it's usually the little things. She didn't want you to worry about cooking so you can focus on, focus on school. <gasps> this is so Chinese! This is- Okay. My hobby right now is cooking. I love cooking. Um, because my old hobby used to be art, but now that's my job. So- so, like, when I was little, I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things in the kitchen. I wasn't allowed to cook in the kitchen, um, really wasn't allowed to, like, watch my parents, because I was busy studying. And, like, 
And like this is this is stuff my grandma says to me. For real. Like this is this is like real shit. <laughs> this is like I feel like I'm talking to my grandma right now. <laughs> Take this list and go to the fridge. I promise your you are mom, I give this to you. Thanks, grandma. Hey, you got anything to say, grandpa? Oh, 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 he does. Okay, wait, I gotta move out of the way. Grandpa. It's been a while, mate. <laughs> I'm happy to see you again. Your grandmother hasn't been doing well since your mother joined us. Really? She ain't since we do mine. It wasn't her time yet. Oh, I think there's an, an accident. Can you tell me what's going on? I'm sorry, but not yet. Grandpa's so dramatic. I never thought I'd get to talk to you again. You know, they say you'll have all the time to sleep when you're dead. But your grandma still wakes me up in the morning to share the latest family gossip. <laughs> Sounds like her. So you live here? And grandma lives here too? I guess you can say that. How are you holding up? Oh god, grandpa. I can't stop thinking about mom. I can barely get up in the morning. Remembering her is a part of accepting that she's gone. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you'll remember... Uh, you'll remember her when you hear her favorite song on the radio. Or when you set the table for dinner. Grandpa, you talk too much. But it'll also hit you when you see something beautiful and wish you could tell her. Grandpa, why? Grandpa says more meaningful stuff than, like, Grandma. The truth is, you will never stop grieving her, but you will learn to celebrate. <gasps> Grandpa, you're gonna make me cry! <laughs> I can't do your voice if I'm about to cry, okay? Calm down. Oh, shit. But you will learn to celebrate her life by cherishing these moments. I still can't bring myself to delete her voicemails. But don't delete them. Literally, turn it into like a mixtape. I tried to make her food, but the online recipes I found are never as good as hers. Real. Soon you'll learn how to carry her with you properly. But for now, I want you to. I want to know more about you. I haven't seen you since you finished middle school. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> How have you been? Why is it such a hard decision? And I can only pick one. This is so hard. Um, they, uh, I want to know about her. I want to know about the character. And so I already know she takes art classes. And she'll probably, it, it will probably be like, oh, it's fine, blah, blah, blah. Or like, oh, I, like, it'll probably be something like that. I want to know about her dad. You know, let's get, let's get into the family tea. Let's just say dad only knows how to make microwavable meals. Oh. That's not relatable. <laughs> My dad, uh, my mom, um, usually work the most. Well, my dad works a lot too. They both work a lot. But my dad, my dad's hobby is also cooking, so I kind of got that from him. Oh dear, I have. Oh, oh my god, I, it sounds like I'm about to sneeze. I'll have to keep that one to myself. What? What do you say? Wait, what did I say before? I don't know. Your mom would come back to life just to divorce your dad if she heard that. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> He asked me about school, but it feels like we're trying to fill up the space mom wants to. He's scared he'll never be what your mom was. Well, that's true. We're all afraid we won't be enough, that our loved ones won't accept us, that we won't be appreciated. That doesn't change when you become an adult. How is school? Should she is <laughs> yeah. It's been awkward. Everyone in class already walks on eggshells around me. I get sent from home from class last week for crying. Everyone asked me if I was okay, and I was like, no, I'm just a kid, and now my mom's- <laughs> I don't mean to- uh, fuck. <laughs> the deadpan is too much for me. It's not funny, but the way she just said it. Everyone asked me if I was okay, and I was like, no, I'm just a kid, and now my mom's dead. Then they started crying? 
Or would you have something- you don't have anything to cry about? So then- so then I started comforting them, even though I'm the one with the dead body. <laughs> this poor girl. They were like, I can't imagine what I do if- oh my god. Okay, those are just really bad people you have surrounded yourself with. What the hell? What the hell? I can't imagine what I'd do if my mom died, but I don't have to imagine. I'm going to be reminded for the rest of my life that my mom's dead. Every holiday when I get- every holiday, when I get married, when people ask what my parents do, Thanksgiving is coming up, and I don't want to see everyone spending time with their parents. Even though mom- even though mom and I don't even do anything for Thanksgiving. It's the fact that I'll know what can never be. And now I'm bitter about people who did nothing wrong to me besides be happy. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Your feelings may not be necessarily right, but they're human. Real. Your oh wait, oh, sorry. Your mom's passing is going to be painful and awkward and selfish, but that's okay. I promise you, you're holding up as any person would. And one day, your classmates are going to understand where you're coming from. Take care of yourself, May. We're all thinking of you. Thanks, Grandpa. You know, it's really interesting of like the way the grandma talks and the great way the grandpa talks. Oh, they're holding hands. Oh, that's so cute. Aww. It's so cute. Yeah, like the grandma's like, I think the grandma's a little bit more critical. And that's just the way, that's just the way older women talk to, like, younger women. I don't know why. That's just how, like, in China, or, like, in my experience, that's just how it is. And then, like, the men are more like, I'm so free-spirited because I have no burdens. <laughs> that's what it feels like sometimes. But, but they're, the things they say are very, one of the things my grandpa says is very wistful and is very, like, The things he say, says sometimes, like, make me want to cry, because it's just so sad. It's not sad, it just is old. It's like an old- it's just like an old person talking about their past, it makes me really sad. Like, things like that make me really sad. Then you just think about how fast life is. Oh, okay. Food time. <gasps> Can I read this? Which, which I I the mommy wang qin. Is the girl named Wang Lu Qin or is the cat named Wang Lu Qin? I really like my kitty. Mama, I so I really like my kitty. Mama, I really like my kitty. I don't know the context. I don't know scallions in Chinese. Says me I don't know that in Chinese either. Yi ni yo. Something ni yo. Oh my god, I'm exposing how bad I am at reading. Ooh. All right. No, I'm fine at reading. I can read at, at a kindergarten level. Um. Okay. I need. We need noodles. Noodles. Not mushrooms. Scallions, sesame oil. Maybe this one, right? Yay! Let me guess what we're making: noodles, mushroom, just some, probably just some, your basic uh, noodle, or maybe fried, or something. Oh, it's more people. There, all these people are gonna make me sad. Hi, have I met you before? You look familiar. May, is that you? Who are you? Who are you? I haven't seen you since you were a baby. I'm your great grandmother. Well, you look look you look a lot younger than my grandma. I think Mom showed me a picture of you once. Hopefully, it was a flattering picture. How are you? Uh, I don't know. Have you had the funeral yet? It was last week. I took my sister to the mall to shop for a black dress, and it was weird, like... What am I supposed to say when the sales associate asks me? 
looking for anything in particular today. This girl is so funny. I'm sorry. Like, this girl is... She's so funny. And it, you can tell that she's using awkwardness and humor as a way to grieve. Like, it's... It, this is really interesting writing. I really like the way they've done this. And it's not just that. Who? Oh. I literally went to 99 Ranch the other day with my mom. That's so sad. Who's gonna take me to 99 Ranch? Who's gonna watch scary movies with me? Part of me doesn't want to be happy because that will mean I've accepted her death. Oh my god. But that's what your mom would want you to do. Be happy. I, I reconnected with your mother here recently. And she's talked all she and all she talked about was you. Do you want to hear what she said? Yes. We do. I, I do at least. You have to. You have to. 99 Ranch, my beloved real. I love 99 Ranch. She th she said that she could not be more proud of you. She told me about how your robotics club made it to finals. Okay. Did she say anything about the art, though? How bully- Okay, there you go. <laughs> no, that's- that's genuine. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's about May's character. How boldly you paint your love for 80s music. She remembers all of these things about your life. That's how you know she loves you. I didn't know- I didn't know she felt like that. I didn't know she felt that way. You think that if everyone goes through loss, that we learn a better way to cope. Real. Damn! Great ma- great grandma like- Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start- God damn. We have the stages of grief to guide us, but grief doesn't know it's supposed to be linear. I feel like I'm going through the four stages all at once. You can take all the time you need. I wish we had more time so I can get to know you better. But I should let you go. Okay. Bye, great grandma. Hello. Are you a great grandpa? Hi, you must be my great grandpa? <laughs> you must be May. I need to ask how's being a teenager in your time? Kind of terrible, to be honest. Sounds like things haven't changed then. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sorry about your mother. But let's get your mind off it, okay? Oh, okay, Grandpa. I mean, you've been dead a while, so like... You know, not that easy. We can talk about something else. Okay. Anything you want to know about me? Okay, so you're making everything about yourself? <laughs> I, I'm just joking, but <laughs> that's funny. Oh, Let's do something a little bit lighter. Like, maybe something a little cuter. How did you meet my great-grandma? We were in the same high school, and we passed notes to each other. We drew doodles, poking fun at our teacher. When I moved away from the for the war, we kept in touch through writing letters. I was always excited to see- I wonder what war this was. I was always excited to see what sketches she had for me that week. She draw what my family was up to, and I draw the latest pranks the soldiers pulled on each other. Eventually, I came back from serving and wrote her one last letter asking her to be my girlfriend. Oh, That's sweet. I haven't even had a boyfriend yet. I wouldn't worry about that. You inherited her looks. <laughs> Damn! My turn to ask about you. What makes you happy? That's a hard-hitting question, Grandpa. Going on walks in the neighborhood with my mom. Falling asleep to the sound of rain. Listening to throwback songs in the car. That's good. The small things are always worth holding on to. I have to be honest with you. I had a complicated relationship with your great-great-grandparents. Oh, God. Are we going down the line? Is this really- is this what we're doing? Is it- is it really the- the- the Chinese ancestors moment? Is this what we're doing here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please. Oh my god. Man, I don't even know about my- I don't even know anything about my great great grandparents. You meet them in the next train car. They're interesting people. Okay. How, what do you think about this, great grandma? What do you, what do you think? It wasn't until they passed that. It, it wasn't until they passed that I understood them. 
After my dad died, I had to pick up his stuff from my childhood house. And it was only then that I realized how simly, sim, sim, what the fuck, similar we were. Navigating the familiar roads in my new neighborhood, working to provide for my family, wondering what my purpose was. You're lucky you had this bond when your mom was living. Losing her isn't lucky. She was barely there when she was alive. You'll learn more about your mom as you grow older. You'll understand what I mean. The train is quite dirty. Before you go, why don't you wash your hands before you travel further? Is that so I can cook? Okay. Who are you? Oh, what's this? Oh, washing my hands. Can I get the soap? Wow, I love washing my hands. Oh. Did I wash too much? Do I have to... <laughs> do I meet the line or do I... I washed it just right. Not too little, not too much. Hello, random child. Who are you? Hey, kid. I heard you need a ticket to ride the train. I, uh, what? I'm just messing with you. You just something us great uncles do. You're my uncle? I have actually many great uncles. Um, you don't look like... <laughs> Okay, I'm still confused how this- I'm still confused how this train works. Am I going deeper and deeper in time? I think so. Each car houses a generation, and you, my dear, have reached the best part of the train. <laughs> I wouldn't take your great-grandparents too seriously, though, especially your great-grandfather. He's been telling me the same story from the war for decades now. What's, what is my purpose here? What are these ingredients for? Shouldn't it be obvious from how everyone's talking to you? About mom? She left something for all of us to give you. Why me though? Why not dad? Because you're her daughter. From the day you were born, you became her world. Also, because having kids means finally someone will laugh at your jokes that doesn't last- That doesn't last long though. Let's go- I don't really care about my uncle. Let's go with this. Of course you're her world. That's not what you should be questioning. You should think about boys in school and whatever kids think about, bruh. I'm taller than you. Honestly, I was thinking about girls and skipping classes at your age. I think grand great grandma can hear you. Er, just kidding. Did you hear that, great grandma? So this is her brother. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is your mom did everything she could to make you the person you are today. You don't have to live up to who we want you to be. Our world is much more interesting if we can learn through yours. What does that even mean? I wish mom could see me now and tell me everything is going to be okay. Oh, gosh. There's still so much left for me to do and she can't guide me through any of it. What's left? Tell me. What's left? Tell me. What do you have to do? I haven't even finished high school. Man. I have to fall in love. Get my heart broken, go through an emo phase, find myself, find myself, work at the bookstore down the street like I always dreamed of. I have to paint something greater than I've ever done before. Damn. One day you'll do all of those things, and we'll be here cheering you on. People told me I wouldn't be famous, but look, I'm in a video game. What is this fourth wall break? Huh? What is this? I don't like that. I did not like that at all. I mm -mm, ruined the whole mood. Don't worry about it. Your mom told me to give you these noodles. I already got noodles though. You can boil them on the stove before you go. Alright! Time to boil some noodles. Select the right temperature. Ah, uh, 80. Celsius, that's right. That's right. Is this not right? 80 Celsius. Is this not 80 Celsius? What? Hello? Oh, I, okay. I thought it broke it. Select the right temperature at 10. Oh my god, the noodles! At 100. <gasps> They're sparkly! Yeah, I got sparkly noodles. Bye bye! 
Oh my god, you my great great grandma. Well, nobody was gonna try to make me read that. I don't know. Let's think. Hi, May. I'm. I think that's Ming. I could be 100% wrong. And that's Snow something. I don't know. Hi, May. I'm. Mm, it's an honor to meet you. Hello. Peace. Peace. Your grandmother told me that you're an artist. I like to hear about what your art what art you do. Oh, so are you related to me at all? I paint watercolor portraits. What have you done recently? I did a painting of mom and me. She's the sun and I'm the moon. You can't have one without the other. I made it for Mother's Day, but mom never got to see it. You must really care for your mom then. I just wanted her to notice me. I'm starting to think she always did. I don't know if anyone's told you, but I used to paint as well. I did traditional brush paintings of mountains and trees. Paintings is the only time I feel like my old self. Painting or painting, whatever. No one tells me no one tells me how I'm supposed to feel. Have you ever have you ever written poetry on your paintings? That's what I used to do in my time. Actually, yes. In ancient Chinese paintings. <laughs> they would the poetry would be next to them. I sometimes write my own or use. See, I haven't read Chinese in a year. <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't. This is the bottom part. But. Oh my god. I'm disappointing my ancestors right now. Or use. I'm gonna check. This is so bad. This is so bad. Um, I think it's by. I don't know, but I won't try to attempt. If you're disappointed, your ancestors might want to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's all right. I only ever write in my journal. I'm not poetic or anything. How about you try now? This one. Okay, write a poem about moving on. Here goes nothing. Grief is a book. All right, okay, see. So you have to use your, your ex book. Your ex book. Your expert uh, poetry skills to see if this is a good poem. Grief is a book where the words. Oh shit, I have to choose it. Uh, alright. Where the words are. Grief is a book. Okay. Where the words have forgotten their meaning. The pages can no longer make us forget. I don't understand. The pages can no longer make us forget. Grief is a book that burns. Every time someone tells me to move on. Personally. <laughs> It tells me that they're sorry, a book with its spine torn out, that throws itself into the fire. Without anyone caring, grief is a book that cannot take you to another world. Grief is love lasting through death, grief is love that has lost its path. Yeah. Where the daughter cannot listen to certain songs anymore, must face that her mother- What is this? What's it? What's the first option? <laughs> Let's face the fact that she can't see her mother anymore, where the ending is already written. Are you sure this is your first time doing poetry? One more thing. I think it was fine. <laughs> Personally. One more thing. Your mother wants you to chop and fry these vegetables. Don't forget before you move on. Stir fry, mind you. Chaw is not deep. Like, you know, it's stir fry. Yeah, right to me. It was okay. <laughs> It was fine. It was, it was great, good. It was just okay. Don't forget before you move on. Okay. Let me chop these veggies. Are you my great grandpa? Did you... Did you... What'd you do to this dog? 
Pick up the knife, chop the veggies, and put the knife back where you found it. Well, what if I put it here? No, okay, I can't. What if I put it like this? Oh, shoot, I can't? Aww. Okay, no, I wouldn't cut my scallions like this. This is a little... This is a little... No. I don't cut my mushrooms like this either. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god, I'm so fast. What is it? Mushrooms, scallions, carrots? Okay. Okay, time to fry them. Um, hello, dog. Rough, rough. 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 Wow. One of my grandpas. It's so interesting. Hello? Everyone's been talking about you. Everyone's talking about you. I'm... Fuck, I can't read Chinese. Mm. I know her ancestor... Is Shane Dawson? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Bro, if my mom was here reading this, she'd like smack me in the head. Okay, names are really hard for me to read because... Because they're names. They're not like words I see every day and I can practice properly. So... I'm Mei, nice to meet you. If I saw Mei's name in Chinese, that would be very easy. I heard about your mom. Wow, thank you. It's gonna be hard, but you need to take care of your sister. Bro has a sister too, my god. Your dad is busy with his job. She lost her mom too. Oh, she needs her older sister to be there for her. Oh my god, it's the younger sister. Sheesh. I, I only- I know. But I'm barely holding on myself. Look, loss doesn't come easy. My mom died when I was five. But your grandma made sure you can have a better life in America. Wow. And you shouldn't throw that away because your mom is gone. Your grandma made sure you could have a better life in America. So her grandma came to America. This is way too, this is way too close. Her grandma uh, came to America. But then her grandma's like, your mom went to America and forfeited her dreams. What are you talking about? I'm so confused. This story- The story is confusing. You need to take responsibility of your sister. I'm trying. It doesn't have to be much. Just make sure she's had dinner and finished her homework. Oh my god. <sighs> the finish her homework is crazy. I was like, isn't this bitch harsh? I'm a kid too. I don't even know how to take care of myself. I haven't been able to sleep with the lights off in the past month, or paint. Every time I try, I see her everywhere, reminding me to wash my brushes. Telling me what colors to use. Oh my god. Real. All you need to do is try. You need to understand the value of work. What the hell? Your dad has to pay for your art classes by himself now. Haven't you considered that? This is so... This is real, but also like the most Asian thing. But mom put me in painting classes, and it's one of the only things that makes me happy. Listen, I just want what's best for you. Who are you? But who- are you my great-great-grandpa? Cause like, I thought that was my great-great-grandpa. <laughs> Alright, let's fry. What if we just forgot to fry everything? Oh my god, a puzzle! So this character is Yue. It is the moon. This character is Yue. This is the sun. And that's all I know. Oh, I don't think these fit. And if they do, they fit very awkwardly. Okay. Yay, we fried it! Fuck you. I'm leaving. Ooh! I like your outfit. Oh, this meeting's cute. Oh, this man's sleeping. Is that my grandpa? Who are you? You sure know how to keep a lady waiting. Who are you? Is this the last trade? You could keep exploring, but no one else will know a thing about making noodles. You know how to make the long noodles? Oh! Oh, is that what we're making? We're making longevity noodles? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and because their mom wasn't able to make it for her this year. And so that's why they're all like, oh, here are things that your mom wants you to do. Even though she's low-key making it for herself, but like, that's that's kind of cute. Yes, longevity noodles! Fuck yeah, I knew it. 
Fuck you, long noodles. What the hell are long noodles? All noodles are long. You mean longevity noodles? I'm the one who created the original recipe. But I'm missing one of the ingredients. All I know is that your mother told me to give you this. Oh, wood ear mushrooms. She remembered. I feel terrible. I love wood, wood ear mushrooms. Of course she did. She's your mom. The long noodles represent a long life. That's why you eat it on your birthday. History lesson. Oh my god, Chinese history... Chinese history has so much to do with like food and their like a lot of their culture is very much food based and like you can see the way food is made in different areas of china is like very much swayed by the past especially like with wars and like conflicts between different areas you can see how the food changes and how some people prefer their food this way because they're in this area and some people prefer their food another way it's crazy i love it it's like weird food science this is your mother's final gift to you. Reminder of your Chinese heritage. Yes, wood ear mushroom. Thank you. You can get through this, May. Your mother told me you were a strong woman. I like your outfit. People keep telling me that after she died, but I didn't do anything. I just begged the universe, my friends, whatever god there might be, that she would come back. I wish I knew- I wish I knew right- I wish I knew right where- Wait a second. I can't read. I wish I knew right where dad's favorite udon noodles are. I wish I knew how to celebrate my identity, like how she did. Knowing the right amount of sesame oil to add a wontongs. Wait, so is her dad also Chinese? Oh no, I wish I knew how to celebrate my identity, like how she did. Knowing the right amount of sesame oil to add a wontongs. Yes, that's very much a part of our identity. Navigating 99 Ranch like my home, preserving my culture for the next generation. I'll not live in an empty house of people who forgot mom as she was, spirited and wise, who taught me how to hold a paintbrush. But you did do something. You're carrying on her heritage and taking care of yourself. That's what she would have wanted. What do you want to do now? I don't want to stay here longer. I want to learn more about... <laughs> Painting and her grandma shares stories about mom. I wish I could give you more time, but you need to get home soon. After you've mixed the noodles, you've done all that you need to do. There's a bull at the end of the train. Okay. What's really, what's also very interesting is like, look at like all these paintings. Probably are made by her daughter, right? Who is the person in the previous cart. And so like she hung them all up and stuff which is really cute and another thing is like through going through her ancestors you can tell that food is a very consistent part of the history of like hi like her history and her family and that like how some people like some like people and like very important people in her family love art and that's where she gets it from and stuff like that like my grandpa used to like he when he was younger he really liked um, doing a lot of art and like sculpture stuff and so like my mom would be like oh yeah you got that from your grandpa like um liking art and stuff hello are you the bowl remember carefully oh shit what red blue and yellow oh, oh, oh. yellow yellow red blue yellow wow Oh, that's it? Okay. I wanna make food. Who are you? Are you my mother? Mom? Is that you? Otis. Happy birthday, May. Oh, I can't believe you're here. So much has happened ever since you left. I need you back. You know I can't leave. But why did it have to be so soon? I really need to pee. Why can't you stay for my graduation or be there for my robotics final? I wish I could have stood by you through all of those moments. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never appreciated how you took extra shifts to put me through art class. I'm sorry I don't help dad enough. I'll do anything for you back, please. 
You don't have to be sorry for anything. Do you remember the first time I made you noodles? You were in the third grade, so small and curious. The store ran out of bean sprouts and you suggested wood ear mushrooms. From then on, that ingredient became our tradition. Our cultural heritage is shaped by these small moments. You've always been a part of that. I'm everything I am today because of you. I never thanked you for making kanji for me when I was sick or for believing in my paintings. Don't worry. Just knowing that I'll always be in your heart brings me peace. Thank you, Mom, for everything. I wish we could have dinner together one last time. I'm sorry for leaving so soon. You did more than enough for me. You were the greatest mom I could have asked for. May, I want you to keep painting. Ask Dad to take you to that New Order concert. Live like you did before my passing, spirited and open. I don't know if I can do that without you. I'll always be with you. Oh my god. It looks like this is your stop. I love you. Always. I love you too. Goodbye, Mom. Me right now, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. Six years ago. Uh, why? <laughs> Why? Hey. Uh, why are you showing me the past? Uh, scoop a small spoonful of mixing. What the hell is this thing? Sorry. <laughs> scoop a small spoonful of mixing to the center. Then use your spoon to connect the wrapper like this. What? Oh, jiaozi. How do we add the soup? Oh, what? Soup dumplings. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> Some of the fillings become the soup. All we have to do is wrap the rest of the steam and steam them. Want to try? Yeah. So it's like her mom was a lot more. I'm like looking at the. Her mom was like a lot more there when she was younger. Probably had more time, just cause like you know, kids are a lot of work and money. You gotta be busy to do that. This is so cute. Oh, that's Max. Making dumplings not this easy, by the way. Oh my god. I mean, it looks easy, but it's hard. I'll have to do it myself now. Oh shoot. No. No. Let me fold my dumpling. Okay, there you go. I eat so many dumplings, <laughs> and I'm not craving it right now, but sometimes I, I do really crave uh, dumplings. Especially the ones like my grandma or my mom made. Mostly my mom. Because, um, like, we make the, the dough of the wrapping, we make that homemade, uh, and so the ones that my mom make are really always very thin. And so you have more filling. It's very yums. That's perfect. I knew my girl was a fast learner. Uh, couldn't be me. After dinner, after dinner, can we order the pool? Ask grammar. Grammar. Something I don't have. I do not have grammar. Ask grandma. She can take you. But I want you to go with me. I have to clean up after dinner. Please, pretty please. Okay, how about this? If you clean up with me, we can all go together. Yes! <laughs> Grandma, mommy said that she- Oh, mommy said she can go to the pool with us today! Where's Grandma? Don't go so fast, we have to finish these dumplings first. Where did you learn to make such yummy food? I've never heard a kid say that. Your grandmother taught me. Who taught Grandma? Okay, so this is- this is the whole thing with the train. Her mom taught her. One day you'll teach your kids. May, I want you- I want to talk to you about school tomorrow. You're starting the sixth grade. Ah, don't remind me! A middle, middle school is going to be even more challenging, but I know you can get through it. Damn. I hate it. Middle, no, I, middle school was pretty good for me except sixth grade. I was looking through my stuff today when I found a card you wrote to me. 
Oh my god. You wrote me when you were in second grade. Your teacher had you all write letters for Mother's Day. Um, this one time I got really mad at my mom when I was little and um, I took the letter that I wrote for her for Mother's Day that she put on the fridge. I took it and I ripped it up um, because I was pissed at her. And then she laughed at me. <laughs> Anyways, you said you were lucky to have me as a mom, but really, I'm lucky to have you. I get to have a little girl who's the brightest person in every room. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. I know, it is evil, but you know what? I was super pissed off. I don't even remember why. Or my mom, like, my mom said something or did something, and I got so pissed. I was like, you know what? Everything I said that to you in that letter, I take it back. <laughs> and I ripped it. I think I ripped it. And then my mom took the thing that I ripped, and she still kept it. <laughs> I don't think she kept it now. It's probably gone somewhere. Or, like, in a folder. Ugh. Us moms, we're always thinking about... How we can raise our kids better. If our kids will be good people or smart. No. This one? No, 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 no. We can't give can't give her the satisfaction, right? The Asian mom, we cannot give her that. So I'm just saying, am I a good person? <laughs> yes, except when you steal your sister's toys, like you did with her stuffed koala. Look. Alright? Look. I did take it. But she was a baby. She doesn't even know that- she didn't even know- Okay, she didn't even know that stuffed animal was hers for like 10 years. I didn't even know it was hers for 10 years. To my mom brought it up one day. And we were like, what the hell? And then she took it away from me, even though, like... She didn't even know it was hers. And she was like, no, it's mine, so I have to have it. And I was like, no, you don't have all these memories with this stuffed animal. Go away. Yes, except- yeah, okay. Hey, she stole from my- she stole my doll first! You asked the question, didn't you? May, don't forget how brightly you shine. You see the world with all this care, don't let that go. Teenager. Just wait until she's a teenager. You really think so? Of course. I want you to know how much I love you is all. Oh, Ah, this is so cute. Alright. Uh, noodles, soy sauce- okay, y'all only eat noodles? Oh. Oh. Slimy. <laughs> That's a lot of noodles. Done. That's a lot of noodles. Okay, soy sauce. Use the sauce you're liking. Two only. Not too much. Veggies and topping? Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. I can. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, what should I. What should I do? Um. Oh, what? And why do scallions look like this? I wanted to write whiz. That's not gonna work. There's too many mushrooms. What? Maybe what would the scallions look like? Oh! Okay. Oh fuck, I messed that up. <laughs> what does a W look like again? Uh. Like, <clears throat> oh my gosh, it smells like caca and wee whiz in here. More scallions, more scallions. Let's sneeze. Yes. Done. Yay! <laughs> Yippee! What is she holding? <laughs> oh. Oh, she's gonna wake up now. I went to 99 Ranch the other day. My first time there without you. 
Did you feel emotional the first time you came to America? You must have been so excited to find an Asian supermarket and not just one exotic shelf in the grocery store. I mean, I, I don't think that I mean, what did she get? used to buy me as a kid. The grandma's gossiping at the produce section. This is so cute. Oh Most my god, the art looks so cute. Sneak Hello Panda in our shopping cart. Oh my god, stop! Why are you, like, reciting my childhood? I tried to call you, but you couldn't answer. Then a lady came up to me. She grabbed Udon off the shelf and told her she daughter- Udon? Oh, she did she Udon? It's my favorite. I love Udon. And just like that, I knew you were watching over me. I don't know how things are going to change, but I'll keep painting. I'll help dad take care of Amy. I'll take everything you've given me and continue to love our family. I'm hopeful for the future. And all it took was a taste of the past. Wow, the title. Is there more? Is that it? We're waiting for the music to end. Oh, and that's it. Oh, that was so cute. That was- oh my god, I did cry. <laughs> Very briefly when she saw her mom. Yay! Aww. Very cute. This game is so cute. And it's free. It's free on Steam. This is such- This is- a really beautiful game like on it like visually and like uh just like a lot of the things they said too i was just like damn like that's so true like you're so right oh my god wow um yeah i i really like that game i hope the studio does more stuff um in this style as well um and everything it looks really it's uh i don't i think it's not that i wish it was longer or, any, or anything i think the length of it is perfect um i think the way they like traverse the story is pretty good i also like how it's replayable i mean i could go in again actually and choose the other options that i did choose it's only replayable at least like two times right um, but I could go back and choose the answers to the questions of the relatives. I could choose the other question because it's only one question per relative, right? So I could do that. Um, but I don't know. Uh, do you think, do you guys think I should, uh, end it? Or if I should do something else? Like, I could just like, I don't know, hop on Genshin or, or Minecraft <laughs> real quick. <laughs> or do something. I don't know. I could just end. I mean, it's a, like an hour, ten minutes in. Should I play Genshin? Or, or Minecraft? I could like show off the little world we have. I haven't been on Minecraft in a, in a hot minute though. Genshin, if you still want to stream. Okay, I'll probably stream for just a little bit. Maybe hit the two hour mark. Okay, I do have to pee though. <laughs> I'll be right back here. Um, 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 look at this really cute screen, and I'll be I'll be back.
Come back. Okay, so I think I think playing Genshin is a good idea. Uh all right. I'm going all right. So because I haven't uh played the new events yet. Merge Mansion stream? Well, that's gonna end in like five seconds but i haven't um the screen's not showing yet i'll i'll do that real quick after i log in it's like it's verifying some stuff let's change it to here uh yeah i haven't gotten to play the event yet like fully um for genshin i really haven't felt the urge to or even like gotten the time to do it either so i think this is a good excuse uh to do that yeah oh yeah i should do that okay genshin Genshin, Genshin Impact. Uh... All right, updated. She get on my shin till I impact. That sounds terrible. Who's doing what to your shins? Excuse me? I might have to put some upgrades on my PC because um, when I was trying to do some stuff for Live 2D, Apparently, my build is not strong enough, which is crazy. That means I have to spend way more money on it. And I'm just like, mm. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. <laughs> Maybe. I was so excited to start rigging this summer, too, which is really unfortunate. Uh, here we go. Genshin Impact Okay. Can you see it? Oh, I don't think you guys can see it. What the hell? Can you hear it? <laughs> Can you hear her I thirsting know, over Dilu? Top of a tree, looking out over a meadow, cider in hand. <sighs> Genshin Impact may require OBS to be run as admin to use game capture. What? What does that mean? <laughs> what the hell? I don't know if I can. What? Wait, what? This is always in order to be properly captured. It's all. This will help. How do I do that, though? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, then... Hold on. Can I make this not full screen? 
Like, is that possible? No, no, I don't want it to be scroll scroll screen. I want it to be Yes. Do you work? Please, please. Oh, this is so sad. I don't think she works. Oh. I don't know how to I don't know how to do the thing OBS is asking me to do. You just want to listen to Venti ASMR? I'm so confused. Genuinely, I don't know what's happening. Um, how to... How to OBS run as admin administrator. Pitch for more clothes. Uh, okay. I think I would have to restart OBS if I wanted to show this. Sorry. Oh, that's so sad. Do you guys want to listen to, uh, Venti ASMR? <laughs> I could do Minecraft. I'm still playing. Okay, let me run Minecraft real quick. Bye, Venti. Bye. Bye. I mean... Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's just play Minecraft. <laughs> let's just play Minecraft. Hold on. Do I have it? Do I even have it? If I don't have it downloaded, I swear to God. I'm pretty sure I have it downloaded. I played on it before. I mean, played on this computer before. Bruh. Let me change screens. It's, it's, it's a little... We need some music in here. Before I go crazy. Oh, I do. playing in the world of that like um show uh, me and like other people share should be this one yeah okay why is the screen so weird oh my god why did the screens never match Oh, it's gonna be- it's gonna look really weird. Sorry about that. Oh my god, if this doesn't connect- okay, okay, okay. Oh! Oh! Who the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell? Let me turn on, uh, some music. Okay, I hope that's okay. Excuse me? Okay, 
So this is the house I'm working on. It is currently night. Um, Alright, Smee's here. As Hero Brian. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Hero Brian. Ew. He's so ugly. No. Bruh. Stop talking on the... the thing. Also, you can totally just join a call if you want. I need to look at- I'm, I'm like looking at a tutorial for this build too, so... Not my- not my own. Not my own. This is not my own. I don't know how to build like this. What? Huh. Okay, interesting. <laughs> what? So this is a huge ass house. That I, I'm not done building. I do want to put some windows in here actually. Like, okay, I think that's fine. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how windows work. I don't. I don't have windows. In general, in, in, in real life. I don't. Oh. Uh, no. Okay, there's some down there. I really like how. I really like calcite. I just. I just like how easy it is to break. Okay, this is not. This is not good. Oh, but sometimes also it breaks too easily. Uh, should I make it more like that? Yes. So, I think I will. And I have to get the ones that I dropped at the bottom. Should I just- I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna- you know, I'm just gonna jump. I'll probably play this until like two hours. Um, for now. Smee, what are you doing? This is Smee and I's house. Isn't it nice? The build is not my own, but I'm trying to do a different color palette because like a little bit of a... This is- it's very white right now, I know. I know it is. But, um... Trying to do some like... A little bit of a honeycomb sunset kind of vibe. Um, it's gonna be... There's gonna be an extra layer of stuff on the outside of... This is like the base right now. So yeah. Oh wait, I gotta change the game. We're not playing Genshin anymore. <laughs> I couldn't... I couldn't play Genshin. So... Now I play Minecraft. And then we that. Amazing! I love Minecraft. Oh fuck, I hear a phantom. Oh hell no. Bye. Oh, this is our beautiful, ugly pot. These things. Oh, shit. these things. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. They're like they're like really ugly, <laughs> and you can't put anything in them. And yeah. We just put it- I, I just put it on this, um, this, this, this little... What the? I can't put it on this anymore? I just did it a few seconds ago. Oh. Smee, I broke the vase. Uh, I'm just gonna put it over. I'm just gonna put it over. It's useless anyway, we don't need it, it's fine. Where's the... Let's go. There. Okay. I, I'm also gonna 
like of course texture of the walls and stuff. Uh, just gonna be skills. I, I want to get some white concrete in here too. Maybe some quartz and stuff. Uh, also need to like have windows. Like the the original build that I saw that I'm basing this off of doesn't have windows, which is really weird. Oh my gosh. Yay. Maybe. Okay. Oh, there's sugar cane over there. Hey. But this is, um, this is Min's base. Or the other base, I think Sho showed it off in uh, their Minecraft stream. It's, um, uh, it's like a little bit more connected. I don't know if I want to. Oh. I don't know if I want to leave it like this. Maybe I should do it like this. No, oh, that's so bad. Oh god, that's so bad. Oh no, that's not gonna work at all. Wait, 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 wait. That's not gonna work at all. That looks so ugly. Wait a second, wait a second. How do I... Let's- I don't want it to be at the edge. I'm just gonna make the windows like that then. Cause, um, it's not too bad. I think- you want more spruce? Um... Yes, please! And more birch if you can find it. Also, next week I am- uh, I won't be streaming, uh, because I'll be spending all my time with me. Um, unfortunately, no. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I'm gonna be spending my time being gay, so I won't be able to, uh, stream. Uh. And next week. Hmm. Maybe we should do it, like... Like by fours. The fours is so basic. I don't want to do that. But maybe. Maybe. Just like this. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea how it's gonna look. What the hell? Holy shit. Oh my- what- what are you doing? Why are you in my house? You scared the shit out of me. Fuck off. I thought it was like a wyvern or something. I was like, this isn't modded. What the hell? A wyvern, a wyvern. A wy- a wyf- a woof. A woof. This is a balcony. I don't I don't have any fences on me though. Maybe I should put a window here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a giant window? Mm. This looks so weird. <laughs> like this. Uh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. What? I I don't know what's happening. I just wanted to make make it look good, but it is not. It's not doing that. Um, should I make it? Windows are weird. I'm not a very good builder. Like, I build a lot. I'm not pretty- I'm not very good. Let's see. Alright, this way. Honestly, it looks really cute. 
I don't even think this is the top floor. I think there's like one more floor here that's supposed to happen. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I have to look at the thing that I'm at right now. No. You like the windows? Yippee! Okay. I'm gonna go and replace everything with birch. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm just gonna texture the walls using birch. It looks so. It looks. It like blends in very well. And I'm gonna use some uh, white concrete and quartz as well. Sweet. Also, um, you need like glass panes if you know. Do we have any? Oh, okay. Bye bye. I hope this <laughs> I hope this looks good at the end. I'm so scared it's not going to. Try and hopeful. walls down then again i don't really know what we're gonna put in each room i'm just building it and then we'll see what we do after that um but yeah okay i'm gonna do this room as well i'm already running out of birch <clears throat> it's fine i don't need that much birch who needs that much birch anyways Site. I also want to make more of uh, the lantern. I know I put a bunch of them upstairs, I think. <laughs> like a crazy person. I mean, it looks like it lights up well. That's because it is day. I mean, this one lights up well right now. Let me just put this around town. Oh, shit. I do need to make more fences. Is there anything on this top chest? Oh. Ugly block. Mm, I don't think this is enough. You know what? Yeah, whatever. I'm also gonna make the balcony as well, so I need that. I need the those for that. Oh shit. I always I always mess up uh, between like um, the uh, gates and then the fences. I don't know why. I mean, it's it's been like that since forever. I've always been messed up between those. I don't know why. 
but this is fortunately okay. Yippee! I think this is supposed to be a room. But it really doesn't need to be. I don't know. <laughs> around maybe i'll put like oh no wait, 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 wait. i'm gonna do like this i don't know about those sides but of course oh my god it's enough okay if i get rid of this okay she's just standing there okay all right I think we get uh, some of the leaves that we have and we'll put it down like bushes. It's going to be a party! It's going to be a party! Oh yeah, and our little pillager flag. Look, and our little- we have a little pond in front of our house and it's a little crescent moon. It's so gay, it's so cute. It's very... Mm. Hmm. What the fuck am I doing? Oh. Um, printing tables. Oh, I like these. I like these a lot. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll save this for blossoms or something else. Hmm. Damn, do we not have the flowering azalea bushes? Not bushes, like leaves? I guess I have to go to the, the other little, uh, the, like the main town to find them. Oh my gosh. Since I go to work. Let me see. I, I want to see. Actually, you know what? I want to put a big ass window here. The same like here but like a little bit more honey block so it's a little bit see-through <clears throat> i think it's gonna be cute okay, i messed up somewhere <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. i love how it's not even <clears throat> that's fine it's fine everything's fine everything's fine a window here maybe i'll put a window here yes here like a window like a big window here uh that's three okay and i have some more calcite back here and there's an enderman <clears throat> uh, let's see. I need uh, the glass for this. Yes. I think we agreed on orange. Yeah. So it's, that's. This is. Yep. So <laughs> we chose. One, two. Ooh. You know, the sound is amazing. Oh, welcome back. You're going to be so surprised and happy with what, I, what I've done to the house. Oh. What? No way that's all the honey we have. Shit. This is terrible. That's 
really all the honey we have? I thought we had way more honey. <clears throat> it's okay, I'm gonna go to the <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the, the thing anyways Honestly, Sammy, we need more uh, glass than we do honey. Okay, oh, we still do need more honey. I mean, that's pretty cute. Yeah, glass. I think we have some sand though. I can just. No, we don't. JK. Honestly, wait. Okay. okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna go. Um, to on a trip to the beach. It's a long, very, very long way. Uh, you're on your way to penis land? Okay. Wait, I'm always- I'm also gonna go to penis land. For penis land. I'm gonna bring a boat, because I think that's the way- That's how- Cause that's how uh, we made a little thing to. Uh... Oh my god, this area is not lit. Uh, this area is not lit. Oh my god, it's right next to the train. There's a creeper right next to the train. Are you kidding me? No, don't move. Oh, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I want to shoot that creeper next to the train. Okay. Oh my god, he literally wants me to look at him. Look. Alright. I'm not here for you. I'm here for the creeper next to the train so it doesn't blow up my shit. Oh my gosh. There are so many endermen here. Zombie, go down. Alright, I'm just gonna put a torch here. Don't put torches here, just put torches here, don't mind me. He's gonna drown. That's crazy. Oh, I hear the triton thing. Well, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. Until morning. This is the little tunnel train thing that I, me and Smee made. That took, honestly, <laughs> took a bit. Uh, it took a, it took a little while, but we got it. It's a, it's, it's a bit of a ride. It's, it looks so cool, right? I like the cave parts and the water parts. The water parts are cute as well. Mm. I think there's also a stop um, for the section where you can go to the beach or the desert biome. I don't know if it's coming up. It should be it's close. Yeah, this this is honestly a very long train ride. Um, our house is what the fuck? What the? Smee, did you? Did you let your cart go down the other way? <laughs> oh, hi, Panzer. <laughs> Uh, I'm stuck in a cave. Or not a cave, a little tunnel. And 
and um my cart just ran away from me so now i'm gonna go walk all the way back honestly no i'm gonna get oh it's dark no it's fine i'm gonna go get uh i'm gonna go to the sand biome or the desert biome first instead if uh simi's got the uh the pee pee poo poos. The. Oh my god, what did you get to say? The honey box and stuff. Holy shit. I think this is the right direction. <laughs> if it's. I hope it is. Uh -huh. So I know someone else made this, and I'm pretty sure it leads to a desert biome. Then again, I am. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure, just pretty sure. <laughs> Honestly, this might be faster than taking, um, they're doing like a whole railway system. How do you make honey block? Uh, you take, so did you use the honey bottles? If you take the honey bottles, you put them in like a four and it makes honey block. Unless you, unless you took wax instead, which is fine. Bottles are sheer, uh, bottle. For the honey. And then shears for the wax blocks. Oh my god, this is so far. Well, yeah, my screen's- the, the screen stuff is a little weird. Like, um, I had to change- distort it and stuff a little bit. For it to fit OBS properly. And it still didn't really, you know, fit- Okay, I think this is the desert biome. Okay. Now. Oh, what the hell? There's a traitor here? What are you doing here? There's a bunny. No. Okay. Yummy! Alright. Um. Yeah. I don't need that arrow, actually. Oh my god. I love shooting. What does rabbit's foot do again? Oh, I don't really remember what it's good for. Hi, for gore. Hello. You don't got good stuff. Goodbye. I'm gonna like, take all this. Oh, there's. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure um, people have been here. They're like marking stuff. This is shared between um, everyone else in the like little group. So, ow. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of markers and stuff. I need to show everyone pet land, but my. I don't know. Okay, I do need to get a cart. So I'll probably have to go back anyways. I think it would be closer than um, to the little thing that Sammy and I made. We need lots of sand for our, for our windows. see Pepnus land. It's very fun. I promise. There's many of Pepnus everywhere. I don't know why that guy spawned here. Maybe people, someone was working here? I mean, it doesn't seem like they were here for very long. Unless they, like, cleared out that whole area. Other than that, I don't know why I thought he'd be here.
Oh my god. Sorry about that. I think my mic isn't working. <laughs> Which is really sad. Like, it's supposed to mute. I think I do, I will probably end soon. Um, just cause. <laughs> That's such a bad reasoning. Um, just because um, we're almost at the two hour mark. And. Um, yeah, I was just playing this just to do some things. I don't really have much to show right now. I might play Minecraft, I'm pretty quick. Uh, so, you know, not much, not much, uh, things to entertain. Okay, I got more than three seconds. Where did I come from? Where did I go? I was right there. Oh, fuck me. Shit. Well, okay, I guess I'm gonna end here because, um, I am... I fell in a hole. I have dirt. Oh my god, that scared me. Alright. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I love falling into holes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that screen. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna end it now. Um, thank you so much for joining me for, um, if you join me for, um, A Taste in the Past. And then for Minecraft, even though I didn't really do much, uh, like what, uh, just like 30 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really liked that story. Honestly, it was pretty good. I wish it was longer just so I can, like, just see more of it. But if it was any longer, I would have been crying a lot more. So I don't know. I think it was pretty good. It's like a sweet, sad, short story. Um, and I really like the writing of it um, and all of that. I think it's really good. Um, yeah, I won't be streaming next week because um, I'll be out with um, Smee being gay and um, and yeah. So um, stay tuned for next next week, which I might be doing some other stuff, but I would have to. I will be um, putting out the schedule for that on Twitter probably sometime next week. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Thank you so much for joining me in my little corner of the forest. Bye-bye.